Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and I'm here today with lesson number 12 on using the SketchUp design software. What I'm going to be talking to you today about is using the rotate tool. How do you rotate objects in three dimensions in SketchUp? I found this tool very frustrating. It's not intuitive, but if you will just follow my instructions, it will work every time. Maybe you're here because you've gotten confused by it. The thing to understand is there's six distinct steps that you have to go through in order to use the rotate tool reliably and I'm going to explain those to you. Let's start by creating a 3D object to rotate. I will start by getting out of your way. I will then get him out of your way and then we need to create a simple object to rotate. Let's make a cylinder. A cylinder will start with a circle. I'll draw the circle snap at the origin, come out, I'll get the push-pull tool, I have a cylinder. Okay, step one, I'm just going to tell you the six steps real quick and then I'll show them to you. Number one, you've got to select the whole object that you want to rotate. Number two, you've got to decide about which axis, about which axis do you want to rotate. Step three, you've got to get the protractor to change the color of the axis that you're rotating about. Step four, you've got to select the point that you want to rotate about. Step five, you have to select your start point. And step six, you've got to select your end point. So let's look at this and say that what I want to do is I want to take this cylinder and I want to lay it over onto the green axis. Right now it's lined up with the blue axis. I want to line it up with the green axis. So step one, I select the object. I can do that by triple clicking it or I can do that by dragging all the way around it. I think I'll drag all the way around it. Step one, I've selected the object. Step two, I have to decide about which axis I want to rotate. Now you got to think, what did I say? I want to go from the blue axis to the green axis. What axis am I rotating about? I'm rotating about the red axis. So I've decided I want to rotate about the red axis. So now I get my rotate tool. I want to, sol I want to rotate about the red axis. Okay, what color do I want my tool to be? I want my protractor to be red. Okay, I've got to kind of move it around here and I kind of have trouble getting it red, but you know what you can do? Hit your arrow keys. The right arrow key will make it red. Once it's red, you have got to then decide where is your start point going to be. Okay, I want to, okay, let's just rotate it about this point right here. So now the point I'm going to rotate about is right here. So I click. Okay, that was step four, the point at which I want to rotate about. Then I'm going to come up here along the blue axis, and this is my start point. Click. Now I come to my end point on the green axis. Click. And look at that. I am lined up with the green axis. I selected the object. I decided about which axis I wanted to rotate, the red axis. I got the protractor to turn red. How did I do that with the arrow keys? Red was the right arrow key. You can also use the up, left, or down to get the other, the other, the other colors. Okay. Then I select the point about which that I want to rotate. I will then select I want to select around this point now then I start here and I come here. Let's do that again. Okay, so step one, select the object. Boom, the object is selected. Decide what axis you want to rotate about. I want to rotate about the red axis. So now I get my rotation tool. My rotation tool needs to be red. Okay, I can do that with the right arrow key. Now I come up, I want to rotate about this point on the green axis, so I click. Okay, now first thing I want to select here and now I want to rotate all the way over to here. What if I didn't quite get it? How many degrees did I want to rotate? I wanted to rotate 90. I can type 90 and enter. Boom. And that's really better because if you just eyeball it, you might not get it perfectly. Now, that's how you use it. Let's play around with it a little bit more if you want to practice with me. If you got what you needed, go away. If you don't, then practice with me a little bit. What's one thing that's not really good? I kind of rotated it like this. Okay. What if I wanted to just lay it over? If I lay it over, I want to rotate about what? I want to rotate about the origin. So let's see if we can do that. All right. Let's undo rotate. Step one, I select the object. 
Okay, step two, I want to rotate about the red axis. So I need to kind of look though now and get that origin where I can see it. All right, now I get the rotate tool and I need to make it turn the color I want. What was the color red? I can do that with the right arrow key. Now, step three, I, I want, or step four, I want to get the point about which I will rotate. Where is that? The origin. Boom. I select the origin. I can now come out to here and select the point that I'm going to rotate and then come out here and I've lined it up but just to make sure I'll say 90 enter. Now look at that. I still rotated it 90 but what was different? I rotated it about the origin instead of rotating it about this point. Okay, do you see that? Let's let's try that again. Okay. So this time I am going to uh Let's rotate it about that point. All right. So what do we do? We get the rotation tool. What do I do? I want to turn it red. So I go right arrow. Now I've got it red. I can come to that point, snap it. All right. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to come out here, click, and rotate there. You see, in that case, what I did was I rotated it about that point. Okay, let's try another one. Edit, undo. Let's rotate it about this point. So again, I want it red, so I go right arrow. Now I'm going to snap it to that point, click, come out to the green axis, and then just tip the thing over. And again, I'm going to type in 90, so I get it. And so there I've laid it right over against that point. So let's review what the steps are. Number one, select the object that you want to rotate. Number two, decide what axis you want to rotate about. Step three, get that color protractor. So you get the, got to get the protractor to turn that color. You can do it by moving it around or you can do it just by clicking one of the arrow keys. Step four, select the point that you want to rotate about. Step five, select your start point. Step six, select your end point. And then if you want to make it perfect, type in the, the, uh, the, the, uh, that, that degrees. I'm going to do it one more time. You guys can go away if you're, if you're tired of this. But okay, what do I want? I want it red. Okay, I'm going to get it red with the right arrow key. I'm going to come up to the origin. I'm going to snap to the origin. I'm going to come up to, let's say, here on the blue axis. Now I could just type in 45, or I'm sorry, bring it out like here and then type in 45, enter. So the 45 degree angle, 90, enter. Okay, 135, enter. 180, okay. 90. All right. Does that make sense? Hopefully this makes a little bit of sense out of it. Uh, if you guys like this, think about giving me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, maybe share this with others. Again, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com. I will talk to you guys later.